welcome to another dun dun mukbang. I wanted to invite you all today for lunch because as we're eating, I want to discuss something with you. Before we dig in, there are two things that we're going to talk about today. First is the four most important molecules here on Earth, and second, the possibly best mukbang I'm ever gonna eat. We're gonna talk about the molecules that make up every living thing. I don't care if you're a bacteria, a dog, or a Sharon Conetta. They're called macromolecules, and they're the building blocks essential for every living thing on Earth to survive. They are essential sources of energy, a means of storing energy, and the instructions every organism uses to be born and grow. They are the ingredients for life. And they are the carbohydrates, the lipids, the proteins, and the nucleic acid. Now we're going to start out with the most basic ingredients for life, the carbohydrates, which is also known as carbs. These are the food that we try to discard whenever we're having a diet, but no one can ever really get rid of it for these are the source of energy that we have available to us. Carbohydrates are made up of sugars. The synthesis of sugars are called monosaccharides. Mono meaning one, and saccharides meaning sugar. Common examples of monosaccharides are glucose, which is very important because it comes from the sun. Every cell that needs energy uses glucose to get that energy through respiration. Fructose is another example of a monosaccharide, which is sweeter than glucose. And then there are disaccharides, which is two monosaccharides joined together by glycosidic bond. An example would be sucrose, which is also known as table sugar, which is fructose and glucose covalently joined together. Polysaccharides, however, are longer chains containing thousands of simple sugar units, and they're also a really good means of storing energy. And that's where we get foods like noodles. In the long term, however, the way we store energy is through fats. Fats is very much important when it comes to lipids. Lipids are smaller and simpler than carbohydrates. They were grouped together because they cannot be dissolved to water. Why? Because their chemical bonds are nonpolar. And water does not like nonpolar, so they basically don't mix together. An example would be an oil and water. Fats are made up of glycerol, which is a kind of alcohol, and fatty acids, which are long carbon hydrogen chains that end in a carboxyl group. If you take three fatty acids and a glycerol, you get a triglyceride. They feature prominently in butter, peanut butter, and oils. See the oil over here? We also have unsaturated fatty acids, which have double or triple bonds, and saturated fatty acids, which have single bonds. And now we approach one of the most complicated compounds in the human body, the proteins. Inside of us are tens and thousands of proteins that are keeping us alive. We have enzymes that help us digest food, defense proteins which help our immune system, transport proteins which help us carry materials from one place in the body to another, regul regulatory proteins which help us metabolize and reproduce, and so much more. And proteins do all the stuff using 20 different ingredients, which are the amino acids. Amino acids have carboxyl group on one end and amino group on the other end. The amino group contains nitrogen, and although nitrogen makes up 78% of our atmosphere, we still need to find a way to get it into our body. So we have to eat foods high in proteins like eggs and meat. In the middle of amino and carboxyl group is carbon, which shares one electron with hydrogen and the other with an R group. Whatever side group is in the R group, that determines what kind of amino acid it is. But protein synthesis is only possible if you have all the amino acids necessary, and there are nine amino acids that we can't make ourselves. These are histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. Some foods, especially those that contain animal protein, already have all of the essential amino acids, like eggs. Lastly, we have the nucleic acids. Nucleic acids include DNA and RNA, and they have a monomer called nucleotide, which is very much easy to remember for it really sounds like nucleic acids. DNA and RNA are important for coding our traits. And they are found in a lot of food because whenever you eat something that came from once living, it can still contain DNA, which is like this. 
plants, animals, and fruits like these strawberries contain DNA. Actually, any type of life has nucleic acids because their cells need it to direct the activities. Thank you so much for watching our educational mukbang. Stay safe.